I think you still promote him, Ryan Garcia. Yes. Oscar, what's going on? Um, look, first of all, every time, every time I've spoken to Ryan, mm -hmm. every time that I talk to him on the phone, in person, he's always nice. Right. He's always like talking to me. Yeah, let's, we have big plans. I'm motivated. I want to make a lot of money. And Ryan's Ryan, right? Right. But every time we talk, everything's great. And then I pick up the phone. I see Twitter. I see Instagram. I I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are you doing? What are you doing? A lot of money, good looking kid, just like me. And I've given him advice. I've told him, hey, look out for this, look out for that. But Ryan's Ryan. I have no idea what he's thinking or what he's doing. A wise man will learn from others' mistakes. A fool will learn from his own. Yeah. Now, considering your heritage, you fought, you're a promoter. If I'm going to take advice from anybody, I'm yeah. going to take it from you. Absolutely. You can tell me the pitfalls. You can tell me the blind spots yeah. that I have no idea exist. Sure, sure. Because you've been there. You've walked this <clears throat> path before. Yep. You're absolutely it, correct. It seems like you guys have a very, a very contentious relationship, especially like, like you said, privately when you pick up the phone and call him. But then, when I see you guys at press conference, I'm like, bro, I, yeah, that's your. Pro I thought y'all was on yeah. the same team. You know, uh, boxing is like the wild, wild west. <laughs> you know, um, there's people that want to steal your fighters. Yes. There's people, advisors, other managers, promoters. Everybody's always talking to the fighters. Everybody's so in his ear. Always. Oh, Oscar's the bad guy. Oh, Oscar's going to steal from you. Oh, Oscar's not going to promote you right. Well, I, I, have, I have the experience. I mean, look at Canelo's career. Look at Floyd's 16 fights that I promoted. Look at all the big events I've put together. Of course, I've had the experience, but when these whispers are in their ears every single day, mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're literally swimming up the current. It's impossible to, to convince these young kids and they're kids. Right. You know, I don't blame them. I blame whoever is around them. The advisors, the lawyers who are money hungry, these guys who, uh, think they know it all. Well, the fighter's going to listen to them because they're with them every single, single day. day. So when they, when they confront me, it's like, wait, wait a second. I'm the good guy here. What are you right. talking about? I just want to make you a lot of money and make you a legend. Right. I'm a legend builder. I want to build legends because if you build legends, then the money will come. It's not the other way around. Right. Oh, I want the money and then I'll be a legend. No, no, no. It not work like that. Work hard to be a legend and the money will come. His mental state, uh, you know, he's been on IG and he's used the N word. He's used anti, yeah. you know, anti-Muslim rhetoric. Um, I, I think he was stripped. The W, uh, one, of the yeah. the, one of the sanctioning bodies. One of, one, of, one of the 20, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so basically we should look at the WBC, the WBA, the IBF. What's the other one? Well, the, ring? The, the most important is the ring. Okay. So that's yeah. four. So we should only have four belts. We should have one. <laughs> we should have one. The one that has no politics involved. The okay. one that the one that fighters don't have to pay their hardened money to. To be a part of. Like you literally have to pay a percentage or a big chunk of your purse to the sanctioning because for a belt? I would rather just buy the belt uh, at the flea market yeah. and, you know, for a couple hundred bucks. Right. But the ring belt is free. The ring belt, you have to be a legend. You have to be number one fighting against number two. That's the only way you fight for it. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So I'm looking at when he fought Tank. Yeah. And there was the rehydration yeah. clause. Do you feel that had he fought Tank, I think they weighed 140 and he couldn't yeah. rehydrate above a certain level. Yeah. Had he fought it, let's just say they fight at 147. Do you believe Ryan... Beats Tank? I believe he fought, was it 135? 130, yeah. 135. Fought him at 135. So let, let me tell you all the, uh, yeah, give us all the roadblocks and stipulations on the contracts and this, because I didn't negotiate that fight. Ryan's, Ryan's lawyer and advisors negotiated that rehydration clause and the purse split and this. I was just like, let me stand back. Let me watch them make mistakes. 
I felt so bad for Ryan because he was sucked up. Yeah. He was just, he was a dead man. He reminded me of me when I fought Pacquiao. Okay. Okay. And then when the next day you can weigh a certain amount. Probably couldn't get over 140. It's, I mean, he's, there's no chance he's going to win against Tank, who's a beast. Mm -hmm. It's no chance. If they fight again, and let's say they make the weight, let's just say the weight is 140. Do you believe Ryan is skill, skill enough? Because Tank did a great job of staying away from his power shot yeah, that left yeah. and did a great job of walking him into his left, sure. which is his, his, sure. his uh, uh, sweet spot. Sure. Do you believe if they fought again, let's just say they fought at 140, Ryan could beat him? Well, at 140, Ryan's a big kid now. And it would he be, making it, 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 huh? he's not making 140. <laughs> he's so he got to be 147 one, It's got to be 147, 145. Um, but I'll, big, tell you, I'll tell you one thing. guns up there, Oscar. Well, yeah. I mean, you got, you're talking about Crawford. You're talking about Virgil Ortiz. Um, but you're talking about some big boys there. But I, I really think that, see, weight class, that's why we have weight classes. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't, we didn't start with boxing, I don't know how many years ago, putting rehydration clauses on the great fighters. Right. We just didn't hear of that. Mm -hmm. That's why we have weight classes. And, um, and so that's exactly what happened with Ryan. I, I, does he beat Tank if he doesn't have the rehydration clause? I don't know. I just do not know because Tank, like I said, is very skillful. He's a beast. He knows how to figure you out. But one thing about Tank, which I love, and this is why he's going to be great, because he fights. Mm -hmm. And when you fight, you're going to get hit. And when you fight, you're going to get hit and you might get knocked out. But that's the beauty about Tank. That's that why he they love fights him. and that's why they love him. That's a perfect example. Right. Tank Davis is a star. When Ryan get his situation worked out, who would you like to see Ryan fight? Um, at 147, I wouldn't mind watching him against uh, Teofimo Lopez. I wouldn't mind uh, watching him against, uh, wow, there's so many fighters, Boots. Boots Ennis. You want to see him against Boots? Why not? Let's make the great fights. Virgil Ortiz. Wow. That'll be great. There's a lot of fighters out there. It, they are. Aaron, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Man, you can make so many fights. Now, I, I don't think. I, 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 listen, it seems to me Crawford is hell-bent on fighting Canelo, and he's willing to go up to 168 to do it. Because I, I don't believe Canelo can drop down to 160. He's no. been at that no, 168, a, 175. Right. He probably walks around. What does Canelo walk around at? 185, 190? 90, easy. Easy. 200. Easy. He, so he, Trump, he's, a, he's a thick kid. Yeah. yeah. So to come all the way down to, he's not coming back down to no, 160. he's not. That's, that's, that's a far-fetched type of fight right. to be made. To be made. Um, I think realistically, I think realistically, um, Terrence Crawford, Virgil Ortiz, Boots Ennis, those are our modern, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly, of today's era. But it seems to me that Crawford doesn't seem that they bring the bang for the buck. They don't bring the eyeballs. They don't bring the pay-per-view vibes. They don't bring the, the butts in the seat. He says, it seems to me that he's like, well, I'm an undisputed, undis uh, uh, you know, undisputed yep, champ yep. in the four-belt four era. Yep. I just got another belt. Sure. Seems to me he's thinking the only fight that makes sense is Canelo. It's Canelo. Um I think he's wrong. I really do think he's wrong. I, 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 Crawford in, is in a unique position, situation. He needs a B-side to create a mega fight. He's that type of fighter. Right. He's the best talent out there in the world today, I think pound for pound. But he's kind of like in a teeter-totter where, where it's like, man, does he sell or does he, doesn't he sell? It all depends on the opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think Boots in this? Does what? I guess I guess a good number is a million pay per view buys. No. Booth does that. No, no. not Who? with Terrence. I think I think the only fight, maybe fights out there that that do over a million homes because to hit a million homes, it's it's, it's all it's there's it's, a lot going on now. Oh yeah, there's a lot <laughs> going on. People have uh, yeah short memories here, so <laughs> they want to see you know the best fight the best. Right. I think the only fights are like Canelo, Terrence Crawford. Uh, anything with uh, Ryan Garcia, um, Virgil Ortiz, Terrence Crawford. Uh, there's there's several out there, but um, yeah, you just need that perfect dance partner. Right. Would you like to see a rematch with, with uh, Tank and Ryan at 140? Let's just say 140. I, I would love to see it at 147. 147. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's a man. It's too much for yeah. That, that's too a lot much. of weight for tank. It's though. too much for tank. Yeah. It's too much for tank. But it still would be an incredible competitive fight because tank. He has the dog in him. Oh yeah. Oh he, yeah. He gonna, he gonna fight. Oh now. yeah. There's one thing about tank. He won't he, go down easy. He's slow. Four or five rounds, sure. but what's but what's he, he turns it up? Oh man, it's beautiful. <laughs> he relentless. It's beautiful. He's relentless. What's Flo, I, Floyd? I guess um, Ryan Garcia and Floyd has been they've been talking, communicating. What's that relationship? What's that dynamic between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and uh, Ryan Garcia? Um, well, yeah, I mean now now that Floyd see Floyd was a little idle in in the promotional right. business for a while. Um, now that he started again. Um, he hired an individual that I was actually my ex CEO. Um, funny stories about that. Um, Schaefer. Yes. So now that he started it up again, yeah, it's it's. Do I worry? No, because Floyd is probably talking to him as fighter to fighter. Right. You know, maybe he's slipping in some business. You mm -hmm. know, hey, come sign with me or this and that. But look, I mean, Ryan, Ryan knows exactly who. Uh, who helped him out? Ryan knows. Ryan's a loyal guy who can, in boxing, who uh, who he'll tell me if he wants to leave me or he wants to stay right. with me. And you know, plus we have a contract. So, <laughs> the Ryan Garcia, De De uh, Devin Haney. You want to see a rematch of that? What what transpired? Because he's been suspended. They say PDs. They say it's trace amounts. So what's go Oscar? What can you tell us about that situation? <laughs> when we landed. Fight week in New York, okay, Monday, I believe it was, that Monday. The first call I receive, hey, please help us. Ryan Garcia's drunk in his room and he's with women. I'm like, what? Is this what I have to deal with oh the whole week? Um, imagine if Ryan Garcia was 100% what he would do to Devin Haney. Right. Do I want to see a rematch? No, it doesn't call for it. I think, I think Ryan just, he swept, he just mopped. I mean, it was crazy. You know, it was it was what what Ryan Garcia, he just made him look like an amateur. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care if they say he was on steroids and this and that. He was 30 percent up in that ring. 30 percent. Imagine if he was 100 percent. Will he ever take it serious enough to be that 100 percent? I believe he will. I really, really do. I think. You know, in order in order to to lift yourself back up. You have to touch the floor, mm -hmm. you know? You have to slip and touch the floor. And uh, I think if Ryan Garcia, and I know he has the strength to do it, I think he will come back better, stronger than ever. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before to something.